So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, creating a multicast publisher and then using the share method to create the same multicast publisher. In the previous video, uh, I have shown you how you could use uh, several subscribers so that you'd be able to multicast a value to different uh, subscribers. So right now, we have a view controller with um, several text fields. In total, we have four text fields. And then currently, it, it printed out the values coming from these uh, two subscribers or subscriptions. And this was the first example that I did. I, I have a value publisher method which would produce a, a zip publisher. So a zip publisher will join two publishers and then it will output a tuple value. And the publishers that I have here is a sequence publish publisher that applies to uh, arrays like this and also a timer publisher that will help me in uh, printing the values or output output the values every second so I have set it to every second here using the timer publisher and as I mentioned earlier this publisher will output a tuple so I received the tuple here in this uh, publisher and then I grab the first element which is the integer and then return it as a string and I created a couple of subscriptions I transform the value into a, a, a vertical string as you can see in the text uh, text view and I did the same thing on the second subscription so doing this will will create a couple of subscriptions it means it will create a couple of uh, publishers and then they would have their own states okay so let's uh, move on to creating our multicast uh, publisher I have this multicast method and I'm going to copy the method name and make sure that it is the one being called okay so the first thing that we need is a publisher before we would be able to create a multicast publisher so I'm going to call the publisher instance and then call the multicast method I'm going to choose the second option and now it needs a subject so a subject is just a, another publisher wherein you would be passing it around in case you need to subscribe to it our subject is a pass-through subject so subjects are publishers that uh, that can receive values and then they would transmit the value so there are two types the first one is the pass-through subject which would just you know receive values and then emit them immediately with the current value it will receive it and then emit while it will store the current value so succeeding uh, subscribers will be able to uh, receive that current value and then we assign it to the subject variable and then we will be setting it here okay so now we have called the multicast method and it will it will produce another instance of a publisher which we will need to set to a multicast variable and I want to use this here in the next subscriptions and then also this is subscription here so in this third subscription the values will be or it will be able to subscribe on the fourth second since I've used a delay uh, which is three seconds then it should be printing after three seconds okay and I think this is ready let me just run this example okay so right now it's not uh, it's not printing anything the reason for that is because we need to call the connect method from our multicast instance so I'm going to copy the multicast and then call connect connect is connecting to the publisher alright so if you're not going to connect to the publisher then 
these subscriptions will not happen and it tells you to use the result which is a uh, a cancelable object and I'm going to set it to my cancelable property which is called cancelables okay and then I think it's ready and we're going to run this example again okay here I'm setting it with an initial value it's just you know so the the value will be printed on the third row so we have used uh, three new line characters all right so in the debugger it says we have one subscription and then it printed all the values and in our text views the first and second subscription printed all the values and then our third our third subscriber which is which join on the fourth second uh, it printed the value at the time uh, it subscribed so at that moment it was our multicast publisher was printing the fourth value that's why we, we only see the fourth value fifth six and so on and then since we are using a or we have uh, set a subject which is also set in this view controller as a property and then we have shared this instance somewhere here which is in the debug view controller so if you look at the debug view controller we also made another subscription which is happening in the view did load so we have this reference to the subject and we subscribe or we created a subscription so that it will be assigned to the text view that's the reason why we're seeing it here at the bottom so this is how you are going to um, create a multicast publisher first call the multicast use the publisher that, uh, that is generated by that method and then call connect all right so if you are not going to use a multicast publisher the late subscriber will look different and I'm going to show that to you I'm just going to comment this and then copy the previous publisher and I think this is it I'm just going to comment this and run the example okay so in this example the output of the third subscriber would be different and in the debugger it says that we have a couple of or three subscriptions so we have three subscriptions versus one subscription that we had earlier the third text view it printed from the very beginning the reason why it did that it's because when we are not using a a uh, multicast publisher we're using a value type kind of publisher a value type publisher whenever we reference it or assign it again then it will create another copy so another copy means it will not preserve um, the state of the first instance will not be shared to the second copy that's why it will start over again in the multicast case since we are using a pass-through subject pass-through subjects are reference types or using uh, a class or it is a class so a class you could share it uh, or you could share it to other areas of the app and then still be able to um, access its state at that moment that's that's the reason why when we were using multicast and then at the time that it subscribed it printed the value that that was being printed at that moment and then you have noticed that there's only one subscription because it meant that uh, we're only using one publisher or referencing one instance okay so I'm going to show you how you how you could create a multicast publisher with uh, using the share method so in the share uh, in this example uh, we only need to call the share method and then we don't need to pass a subject because uh, these are done automatically 
and we also don't need to call the connect method because share will do the auto connect for you so it produces the publisher will which will multicast and then this example will just behave like the example that I did with the uh, multicast and I'm going to show that now alright so we can see now that we only have one subscription and the values are being printed and on the text views it uh, the third text view again printed the fourth value which means it printed the value as soon as it was able to subscribe but we are not seeing the value in our or yeah fourth text view because we aren't we are not referencing the publisher since uh, here we were referencing the subject but in our share we don't have that so there you go I have shown I have shown you I think uh, three examples where you will be able to multicast values coming from one publisher I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and click the like button